in this video, we are finally going to be doing our first cast iron pour. Um, so there's a few differences with cast iron compared to aluminum, and I know I don't have much aluminum on my channel yet, but I, up until this point, I've pretty much exclusively done aluminum. I've only done cast iron like once, maybe really twice, but more, more like once. <laughs> And I've never actually done it in a mold. I've I poured it into ingots um, just to get a feel for how it pours and how long it takes to melt and uh, things like that. But this is going to be the first pattern that I'm going to use. So the one difference with cast iron is that um, you. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually clamp these two halves together and the reason I'm going to do that is because um, they cast iron is very dense and if you have a lot of it which this pattern is going to have a decent amount then um, what happens is the top half can actually float on the cast iron and cause the cast iron to spill everywhere Okay, these, these are a little bit too tight, I think. And I don't want that, so we're going to have to clamp, we're going to clamp it shut. So, what we're going to do here is, we're going to take our pattern. Now, I want the pattern such that these two are on the bottom, because we're going to hang our core on these two. Um, so, I have to be conscientious here of what's going to be the bottom. And I think this is going to be the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, uh, take this out like that. And since this is the bottom, I don't need to put any risers or anything. Um, I, could, I talk more about this whole process in my other video. I'll put a link. Um, it's for cast aluminum, but the mold making is the same. Alright, so first I'm going to put some baby powder and it's just going to act as a mold release so I can take it out of the sand put that in now let's get the sand Ah, no, it's upside down. I gotta do this again. Okay, got it right this time. More parting dust. I think we'll just we'll just do something like that for the ingot and the riser. So uh, I'm gonna fill it up up to here first. This isn't ideal um, if you were to be super strict about pouring methods this is not ideal because what's going to happen is gonna, it's going to come from the top of the cavity and fall down and splash down into it when really you want more of a gradual sort of flow um, but like you know 
I'm not making anything for NASA here, <laughs> you know, so I think it'll be okay. Okay, move these out a little bit. Okay, uh, I ran out of my good sand, so I had to use my backup sand, which is still pretty good, but not as good. So, pulled out the two <clears> of <throat> the gate and the riser. So now, let's take these bolts out. some breakout here. We've got some breakout on the top. However, that is not a big deal at all. Make sure you close your eyes when you do that. So that break out there is not a big deal. We can grind that away. Um, so, move this to the side. And we're gonna do this one. Okay, now comes the super tricky part, putting in the cores we made in the other video. These guys are gonna slide into those cavities on the side. Just like that. Remember, those cavities are made by these guys. And then we're going to put the cylinder bore across it. Okay, so is this going to work? Let's see. looks pretty good you can see the side there see that so now the final tricky part is getting this back on this other half Push it down evenly. Okay. Now I'm gonna thread the nuts on these nut on these bolts, and I'll probably put another clamp over here. Then we're ready to fire up the furnace. All right. I'm nervous. I've never never melted this much cast iron before. I'm gonna be super careful. I have a contingency plan for everything. I'm gonna start pouring it in here. If it starts to leak out the sides, I'm going to stop immediately, pour, the, pour it into that ingot, and then pour the rest into the cupcakes. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, here we go. Come on, here we go. All right. This works. There's a lot of slag in that. Oh man, that's heavy. Come 
Come on. Come on, then. Not gonna be enough, but. Oh, she's bubbling in there. I didn't melt all the iron I wanted to. Oh. Because, uh, the crucible is getting too full. That little explosion was rocks, I think, blowing up. Well, it didn't leak out the sides. I didn't want to put these two guys in there because they were seriously getting so full and wasn't comfortable with that at all. Whoa! Another little explosion. All right. I'm going to step away from that mold. Okay, it's several hours later. I think about four, maybe five hours later. And uh, this mold is so hot, and it's coming out of the flask. See? Now let's uh, let's dig this out of here.